So here we are with the casting of the first match for the equipment of Octagon. Um, just be aware, uh, this is my first cast and my house is uh, at the moment with a newborn baby so you may end up hearing cries in the background. So let us uh, guys we can begin. This is DVO by the way, and I'm going to be doing the casting for this show. Let's see who's going to be first. This is Malefak is going to be the Corp, Orange Devil is going to be the runner. And there we go. Let's see if they can give me view on their hands. So if they can give me the visibility to their hands, then I will be able to see exactly what is going on. So it's going to be Saber versus Inspired <coughs> as the first match. And the shaper seems to have a decent start. No money though, so eh, some money. Let's see if he's going to keep it. Hmm, interesting hand. Even Malefact is uh, thinking about it. Well, in fact, had an old version and the game informed, but uh, 1181 <coughs> didn't have a big of a difference. So Oran Devil is going for the Mulligan, probably looking for more money at the start. I think it will shoot him just fine, two icebreakers. Yeah, good luck. And here we go. First, he gets a nice Asset for Tambani that he needs for this ice. He's a very good start. No agendas in the hand and some money, which uh, means he's probably going to have an easy time not needing to protect uh, headquarters but having to protect RD instead at the start because uh, no agenda in the hand means any one of them is coming definitely in the first few turns. Which means that uh, Orange Devil running on it is going to be scary. So, protecting with a basic wall of static. And straight up a fort. <coughs> Probably going to try and trick and see if he's going to run it. So 
So, first roll, first draws, and immediately the money is here. That's a really good start for uh, Orange Devil. He'll be able to have a strong economy during the game, during the first few turns at least. And probably bluffing in this case. Just targeting the card to make him think. I'm not sure exactly what uh, Orange Devil is planning. Ah, he's running. Didn't notice the run. So, trying to waste the money from uh, Malefact. Probably going to stop. Yeah, worth stopping him. He's going to waste his click as well. Fortunately, that means Malefact cannot bring up his money next turn. So that's a strong delay for him. But I guess he doesn't care since uh, his hand is pretty safe. Maybe some of them forgot to press F12. Hmm. The game has an option to discard cards by pressing the delete button, but I see uh, Orange Devil is still dragging in there. Eternal, that shouldn't cause any problems, but you should always be in the habit of just moving over the card and pressing delete. Lots of good cards, obviously Orange Devil didn't want to waste any of the money. But that's what you get when you run instead of building your economy. You have to make hard choices. And more eyes for Malefact. That's really a good start for him. Means there's no danger for him at the start. He can keep building himself, preparing for his perfect fort for when the agenda comes over. Putting a nice there, probably doesn't care, he's probably going to let Orange Devil run it if he passes and let him see his hand. I'm guessing uh, Orange Devil will go straight, will do a simple run on the hand and then maybe bring his uh, wall breaker and dry under D. No, he's going straight for the stack. Gordian play possibly. Yeah, there we go. Just wants to be able to run that fort. And the Gordian Gate is in and he's running probably. Bad choice. Didn't expect that it's going to be just an asset there. He's not going to have enough money to either uh, tra trust it or maybe he does. Yeah, he's going to have just enough money to trust it. But it's still going to really hurt him if he does. But it's definitely going to hurt Orange Devil more, uh, Malfact more. He's going to be left without any money. And there we go. The Adonis campaign. I'm expecting Nora to be able to trust it. Let's see if I guess correctly. <laughs> Delete man, yes, no. No, he is going to let it throw. He probably wants the money 
to bring the rest of his icebreakers. I think that's a mistake. But he has until next turn to raise it to trash it anyway. Since Malfa cannot raise it next turn. So it helpful to make our devils raise it and then trash it for him. But if I was in uh, Malfax's position, I would uh, put a nice another ice in front just to annoy him. No, he's going for another campaign. money. I'm guessing uh, more and will run it, see it and just let it stay. Oh, perfect. Now he has just enough. He has a lot of money to bring his battering ram with a modded and go start running his uh, uh, Malefact R&D. Which is going to be nasty since there has been no agendas yet, so they're all in the way. Prefers to click, draw a card. There we go. Here comes the battering ram. No, it's a ninja. I didn't expect that. Probably he's afraid of sentries more than he is of uh, barriers. I'm not sure why he did this. I would keep my ninja until I could run, but maybe he's afraid of Itzy. There we go, here's the pad campaign, the uh, super pad campaign rather, the Adonis campaign. And here's the first agenda of the game. And as expected, he's protected with a charm, which I don't think is a good idea, because the Gordian Blade is going to be breaking both charm and Enigma. But I'm guessing he just wants to waste the money. There we go, fast games. I'm guessing at about now or, uh, Orange Devil is going to be running that uh, campaign. But I don't know if he has the money to do it. Now he does. But I thought he'll waste that card on the campaign. And there we go, he does want to run it with two. And it's a charm. I'm expecting him to break out immediately. <coughs> no point in wasting money. And another modded, playing it fairly safe, not one run in R&D yet. There we go. Probably he's going to protect the other campaign now and uh, raise it next turn. He definitely can protect it with his tool booth, toll booth, which is what I would probably have done. But let's see if he's of the same opinion as I am. Putting a toll booth in front of the campaign allows uh, him to waste three credits from Orange Devil when he tries to come and then have a trade in next turn or sometimes later for the beta test. Malfact is uh, trying to pester Orange Devil, getting into his uh, mind, getting him to wonder what could that be. But Orange Devil is a cold man, does not take baits that easily. I'm 
going straight for the money, nothing else. I am surprised. Mm. Not sure why he went just for the money. Probably just trying to uh, <coughs> squeeze out his campaign and then be able to uh, fortify one server. There we go, last ice break. <coughs> <coughs> and soon it's time to run R&D Orange Devil has his rig, rig ready which means he can now break anything as long as he has the money for it and has power it does not raise the card does not raise the campaign oh. That could be an automatic accelerated beta test here if he plays a biotic labor, but given how many eyes he's drawn, that's probably a bad decision. And he's just going to protect with Enigma his campaign. Both players are playing a very uh, slow game, just making sure they have the money, making sure they have the advantage. Malefact has 17 credits, which means he'll be able to play a Gargad 2 on Fort when he wants to. He's letting him see his campaign. Let's see. I would probably trust it if I was him. There we go. But that was probably already the plan of Malefact just to get the money advantage at this moment. And next turn, he's beefing up his server and playing the agenda. we go, now he has to start playing the agendas oh, he's going to do it immediately yep, he's going to raise it immediately let's see if he's going to risk it he's not going to risk it sneak the agenda right down there Orange Devil's nose. This is quite important because um, even if Malefact loses, he uh, the point, the agenda points that he makes will be important on his chance as a runner. So this is also a solution for when he has to play as a runner to have some agendas as buffer before he loses the match. Personally, I wouldn't have done it in a normal match. I would have played the accelerated beta test and put two eyes in front. I would be make it definite that uh, Orange Devil wouldn't be able to uh, get in, and then I would uh, score it at my le leisure, and then have also the biotic labor for next turn. So, lots of money for Malefact. Another beta test. I'm guessing now it's time to play the beta test and two eyes. Or perhaps money, beta test, and one ice. If he plays the toll booth, it's going to be difficult for Orange Devil to get in. Of course, Orange Devil does have his team hack, which he's probably going to use as soon as he puts the first advancement counter.
difficult thoughts, nothing else to say at the moment. It's going to be a tough decision if he's going to risk the agenda. He's probably not going to risk the agenda. Beefing up the server first and R&D just to be able to stop him from getting the agendas out of the servers. It has its risk of its own if uh, Orange Devil runs HQ at the moment. He only has three cards, a one out of three, to gain an agenda. And he also put one of his most powerful eyes to protect the lowly R&D. On the other hand, that was also a good choice. He didn't want to put another code gate on the big fort, since it means the Gordian Blade would be able to break everything by itself. So he wants to be spreading out the ice. Or the Devil, on the other hand, does have a lot of economy. Malefact needs to rush, gets through some uh, ice, some uh, agendas before. Uh, or the Devil has so much money that he won't be able to stop him at all. I'm not absolutely sure why uh, Malfak wants so many cards. Perhaps looking for that biotic labor to be able to play just another one of uh, accelerated beta test on the quick before taking the risky decision. But uh, luck is not with him. So at this point it's probably better to keep building up your fort. If I was a malefact, I would have put that Roto Turret in front of the big server. That would add an a sentry to the mix, which would mean by itself... No, maybe not. That's only one credit to waste. So by itself it's not worth it that much. So he's clearing up the whole fort. I'm not sure why he did that. Why he didn't just create a new fort. Then he could have used that build fort to uh, play some new cards. I have to ask him later why he decided to go that way. Oh, some money wasted. But uh, probably Malefak will get in anyway. He needs three and one subroutine. And he merely sees it some. No luck there for Run Devil. Two out of three. Two out of five were agendas. He didn't hit it. And he's out of money. Well, was out of money. Hmm. Corporate troubleshooter. That's going to probably be used to trick him into running that roto turret. If uh, if he can get uh, Orange Devil to run that Roto Turret without, uh, uh, while having the money advantage, that's going to get his ninja out. Or maybe his code gate. Not sure which one would hurt the uh, Orange Devil more. I'm guessing Orange Devil will try to run it though, because it could be an accelerated beta test which can be scored immediately. Let's see if Orange Devil will do it. Will he take the bait? Taking the money, probably going to run now. There we go. I'm guessing uh, he's going to raise the ice and use the corporate troubleshooter. Fortunately, if he does that, it's going to waste uh, a lot of money. He has to waste at least he has strength one 
So he has to bring his strength. Ooh, it's going to be tough to defeat that ninja. Orange Devil has 9 credits. He only needs 6 to be able to reach strength 11. Strength 11 and then has enough to break as well. So if he can get a roto turret to strength 12, he can definitely stop Orange Devil, but it's going to take all the money he has. So this is a really difficult choice for Malefact. Does he really want to waste uh, one of uh, the uh, programs? And which one is the best? Probably Ninja. For a cost of 12. The difficulty thing is that if he does waste 12, Warren's Devil just is not going to do it. Actually, he may need even more. He has the two hyper feeders. So yeah, Malefact realizes it, so you're going to let him just trust his corporate troubleshooter. He should have played the um, Wall of Thorns, with a Wall of Thorns in front. He would have wasted quite a lot of money just to get through the Wall of Thorns, which would have hurt Warren's Devil more. So crazy good economy. But on the other hand, not a big enough for to use it. And at the moment Kate is just can break anything, has a lot of money. It's difficult to see how Malefan can get through all this. There we go, here's the wall. Probably wants to, wants to put a charm in front of that as well. Twenty credits and nothing to do with them. just waiting for his Aesops. That's why he's not using the last two Armitads. Ooh, another wasted. He's going to really make Orange Devil pay for running his central servers. He just cannot afford the three cost plus all the money it takes after that. Kate is thus not, not going to waste any clicks on that. She can take it slow, she's just going to hit him on any server he puts in. Devil knows he can wait. Oh, here we go. Too many agendas. At some point he does have to play one. Four agendas in the hand. That's 
not good. Everything that helped him at the start of the game is now coming back to haunt him a bit. His uh, hand is stuck with agendas. This is not good. He has to play one card at least. If he doesn't, he's going to end up discarding a lot. And he's opting to play one agenda there. Probably the one that he can more most afford to lose. Or the devil is probably going to run it anyway. So at least this is going to waste some money out of him. And he wants to see what it is. Now the question is, can he break that fort? He has enough money, but once he does this, it's pretty certain that uh, Malefak will try to play one of his accelerated beta tests on the quick. go starts a run he doesn't even want to waste his money I wonder if he's going to raise it then probably not he knows he can't afford it he wants to keep it as a surprise there we go no race he's just going to let him have the agenda Now, the smart thing in this case is that he still has to unknown ice for Orange Devil. Which means that uh, Orange Devil will be a bit afraid to run them. So he can bluff a bit more. However, Orange Devil is just going to continue getting money. And what did he lose? I think he lost his second tinkering. Alpha continues to taunt. Oh, there we go. Another accelerated beta test is going to hit the table. Quickly. Zack. Three advance. Probably missed one. The game. Yeah, or the octagon has a problem when you have a bit of lag, it doesn't correctly take uh, very fast actions, so try to give at least one second between one action and the next. I'm wondering if he's going to scare, yep, he's going for it, he hits two of them. And let's see, and he has nothing in the uh, archives. That was nice, that was very nice.
So now things are taking a turn for the worse for Roland Devil. He has to fight yet through another tool booth, which is going to be hard to get through. I think it's right now is the time for Malfak to play his, his uh, next agenda. And then he has two very powerful eyes to protect it. But it's going to be tough if he's going to go for it. So, while we're waiting for Malefact, let's see the state of the game. So we have one server, with one sentry. One barrier, one code gate, just exactly as he needs it. His Kendra servers are fairly well protected. And four points in the store. This means even if he loses this game, he still has 4 points of buffer between him and loss of the match. On the other hand, Orange Devil has quite a lot of money and the Maker's Eye he can definitely use if he thinks he's losing the game. He's definitely going to try and uh, hit him. Oh, more card drawing. He's going to go for it. Just make that server look even scarier. It's a lot of unknown eyes. Oh no, Orange Devil has a significant money advantage and he's going for the R&D. Not going to waste all the money advantage that he had probably, but it's definitely going to uh, help if he hits two other zenders. No agendas for Orange Devil. Tough luck. Now Malefact has the money advantage. Now is the time to play that agenda. Orange Devil has almost no money. He should be playing, I'm guessing, priority requisition with two advancements. It's definitely going to be scary for uh, Orange Devil to get through, but on the other hand, that would mean he only has 8, that would be just enough for him to raise the Wall of Thorns, and then he wouldn't be able to finish raising, finish scoring the agenda, so probably not a good idea after all. That's the problem, when you have just enough money to play your agenda, usually don't have enough money to protect it as well. He's going to go for the third accelerated beta test.
Is he going to protect it more? No, he's not. So Aaron and Devil can't do anything, so he's definitely going to score the accelerated beta test now, just to make sure. He has the six points for next match. And is he going to go for it? I wouldn't chance it. Let's see. He is not. Now he can take his time and prepare to play one of the priority requisitions. <laughs> I guess Oran Devil didn't realize that um, Malefact didn't use the, the accelerated beta test, so he ran the archives to see what he had. But the hidden arcas were empty. That's a lot of ice. Unfortunately, Android Netrunner has a lot of thinking, so sometimes you just have to wait for the players to figure out what the best course of action is.
Oh my god, I forgot I had my microphone off. So I was talking so long, I didn't say anything. There we go, so... The archer is down. Wasted that uh, unnecessary sentry. Or is still hoping to hit an agenda in the archives. Nothing though. Just discard the dice waiting for him. I'm not sure exactly why Marvak doesn't raise the dice. Would have costed uh, Orange Devil some money every time. Oh, here we go. Sacrificial construct. No, it's a rabbit hole. Just thin out his deck. Go more money. He has stuff to waste. Orange Devil slowly building up his economy. However, he's almost running out of deck at the moment. Only 12 cards left. He does have a steam hack, which is definitely used to break through that server. So the first agenda Malfik is going to try and play is definitely going to be hit. It is perfect at the moment. He's decent strength and it's going to cost a lot of money to break every time. It's the one thing that uh, Ninja may be good by against sentries, but it's still costly. Unlike all the other of uh, Kate's ice. So it's generally always a good idea to spam your sentries into your ice, into your forts. Because even with Ninja, it's still going to be very costly to break through. If I was him, I would be playing that teacher right now. Tough choice. Atici is still going to cost him two credits. Plus the one he's make back. Still costly. Just decides to protect me from my own applications. So what do we have here? Lance Devil knows he can probably break through whatever. Uh, Malefact can throw at him, so he can st steal at least one agenda. But the problem is what's going to happen with the next. He's going to play it to protect his archives. Do we have any agendas in the archives? I doubt it, but he's probably bluffing. There we go, no agendas. But he does want. Orange Devil to run the archives, so at least he can waste his money. But that's going to be a one hit trick. There we go, Orange Devil. Uh, probably going to bring 
iets zien. Norris. Okay. He prefers to keep his money rather than waste uh, or the devils. I'm not sure I agree with this. That was a lot of uh, a very good uh, ice to waste for no reason. But of course I'm not in the final so let's accept that the expert knows best. Oh, another agenda. Uh, starting to get quite a long. I'm guessing he's going to play that agenda now. Life is full of hard choices for malefact, it seems. If he plays that agenda, he can probably trick Orange Devil into running it, and that means waste quite a lot of money. But on the other hand, uh, it does mean that uh, Orange Devil is going to grab this agenda and then be one our 8Q run from winning the game. So it's Eric, he's going to have to take now. And he goes for the big agenda. I'm not sure that's the best option. Big agenda, two. Going for the win. I'm guessing he's bluffing. I'm guessing uh, he's trying to make Orange Devil is afraid to run. But Orange Devil has an infiltration. He cannot be bluffed. And Orange Devil is going to steal that with a steam hack and keep his money. Or even just simply run. He's going to go for it for a chip without wasting his money. He's going to keep the steam hack to be able to use it as a surprise run. Which is really good thinking. So now he's just going to break everything with his uh, uh, battering ram. Is he going to raise? No. He keeps his agenda points for the next match. Ah, he's going to break everything with a Gordian Blade instead. Didn't see him use, I only saw him put plus three. Ah, yes. I forgot it has two strength by itself, so he boosted it by three. Total of five. He just boosted it from the first. Yeah. 
my mistake. So, five to six points. Both players are one agenda away from winning the game. Oh, that's nice. That's perfect, actually. This is going to make uh, Orange Devil have to run that fort again and waste even more of his money. So, is he going to play it? If he plays the agenda, it's pretty much ga game victory for Orange Devil. Or the devil does have his team hack, so he'll be able to break whatever uh, Malefact throws at him. He's going for the asset. I wonder if he's going to play another ice. No, he's just going to leave by itself. Or as the police probably doesn't care about it, he's just going to fill his hand. And there's a filtration. He now knows he doesn't have to waste his run. cards, Cordian Blade becomes a bit stronger. And the money is coming. Very expensive ice, nothing to do with them. Probably just buffer for his hand to discard. Malfa is going to continue getting money. Still not sure why he didn't use that Ichi when he had the chance. Obviously, the Orange Devil is using his cards simply to make money oh there we go another make his eye perfect to try to force that last agenda points but on the other hand almost all agendas have been are in Malefax hand at the moment there's one priority requisition left and one what is he doing? I didn't even see the card he got ah, Melange Protected by a puny enigma. There we go. It's probably going to be game over now. There's only nine cards with two agenda is inside. So it's very possible that he's going to hit one of the two. Let's see if he does it. And there we go. The final agenda wins the game for Orange Devil. Six to uh, six points, all the agendas in the hand. Yeah, six to a lot. So now Malfak has six points for the next game. And that's it, folks. One game for 
Orange Devil against Malefact. Quick bathroom break for everybody, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 